Nick DeVries appears to be a step closer to joining AlphaTauri after confirming that he did indeed meet Red Bull advisor Dr. Helmut Marko. The Mercedes reserve driver has been on Alpine's and Williams' radar for a while now. However, his unbelievable rookie performance at the Italian Grand Prix instantly caught the attention of Red Bull and sister side AlphaTauri. AlphaTauri appeared to be leading the chase to sign De Vries, though, after the Dutch driver confirmed on Dutch television show Humberto Opus Saturday that he had traveled to Austria to meet Marco. Mm -hmm. McLaren Racing CEO Zach Brown has affirmed that, should his team make a move for Colton Herta, it will not be for the benefit of AlphaTauri. Herta has been in the IndyCar Championship since 2018, and he has won four races in the American Single Seater Series with a combination of Harding and Andretti. The 22-year-old, however, does not have enough super license points to progress to Formula One, having obtained 32 of the required 40. McLaren gave Herta a run in their car in Portugal earlier in the year, but their driver pool is now full after the signature of Oscar Piastri to the Formula One team alongside Lando Norris. Yeah. Following the Italian Grand Prix earlier this month, where the Briton crossed the line in seventh place, he moved ahead of Romain Grosjean for the most points scored in Formula One without a Grand Prix victory. With 394 career points to his name, he is now second on the list, behind only Nico Hülkenberg. Hülkenberg raced in Formula One for nine seasons. Although he competed for several teams, he never registered a top three finish. Norris, currently in his fourth season of Formula One competition, is now 127 career points away from taking the record away from Hülkenberg. <laughs> I suppose I am a little surprised at how two teams have been able to find that extra bit of performance compared to everyone else," Key said in an interview on the McLaren website. According to Key, the Formula One field is now starting to stretch a bit, and it is mainly Ferrari and Red Bull that are distancing themselves from the rest. I have to say, Ferrari and Red Bull have done an excellent job of exploiting more," he said. It shows that even within a cost cap, if you're a big team with an extensive infrastructure, and a lot of knowledge and methodology built over many years, it still very much counts," Key said. The Britain therefore takes Ferrari and Red Bull as reference points for the coming years in which McLaren hopes to take another step towards the top. <laughs> Lewis Hamilton says he has 1,000% confidence in Mercedes engineers and their ability to produce a car next season that will put the Brackley squad in the mix for wins in Formula One. Hamilton is entering the last stretch of a difficult campaign in Formula One marked by the performance impacting complexities of Mercedes ground effect W13 car. The magnitude of the team's issues, which evolved around the bouncing and porpoising characteristics of Mercedes Silver Arrow especially in the first part of the season, have been such that Hamilton may well conclude the year without a single win to his name for the first time ever in Formula One. <laughs> A run of five consecutive victories has propelled the Red Bull driver into a 116-point lead over his nearest rival in Ferrari's Charles Leclerc and from a variety of grid slots. With six races remaining, Verstappen is in a position to overtake some of the greats in the record books before the season is out. Here are five records that could be broken by Verstappen. 1. Most points in a single season. 2. Most wins in a single season. 3. Most consecutive Grand Prix victories. 4. Most fastest race laps in a single season. 5. Biggest championship winning margin. That brings an end to today's video. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Yeah.